we decided to move forward with the broadband project, um, we did it because it was the right thing to do. Um, we quickly realized that this area was in dire need of uh, access to the internet and without that, uh, people's lives are disrupted. I'm Ted Raspiller, the president of John Tyler Community College. One thing that we know is for a student, regardless of their age, to be successful today, they have got to have access to technology. Technology doesn't just drive the process they'll go through to decide what it is they want to study and ultimately do uh, for a job and for a living, uh, but will also allow us to deliver online education, uh, which is a critical component these days and our fastest growing aspect of our work right to their home. The only way that we can deliver that is through broadband. Hello, my name is Jason Smith. And I'm Michelle Smith and we're small business owners here in Prince George County. The broadband service has been tremendous. Um, it's helped my business grow. Um, it has um, really helped us with uh, processing invoices quicker, um, being able to uh, respond uh, to customers. Rural band has been a game changer for us. Well, and a life changer as an educator. Um, we've had many instances in our public schools where um, the internet has been very slow and our kids have come home and have had to do quizzes and uh, research on the internet and it has been uh, very difficult when it just swirls. But now with this new updated technology, our kids can uh, be more successful here at home. Thank you, Prince George Electric Cooperative. I'm Lane Chambers, an employee here at French George Electric Cooperative. I'm Kyle Holcomb, I'm also an employee here at the Cooperative. Uh, Kyle and I were just talking earlier um, about how the uh, broadband initiative can really affect rural America. Uh, going back to the times when rural America had nothing, no light bulbs in the home, and the 1930s when the National Rural Electrification Act came about to light rural America and we see ourselves at a crossroads here yet again to light rural America not just with a light bulb but information and technology at their fingertips. Broadband is equally a necessity in today's day and age and, um, and we're seeing a lot of benefits immediately from the deployment of our fiber network that you know home, home business owners can, can operate their businesses more effectively. Uh, students can do homework, you know, the, the media consumption aspect of it as well. Um, it's been a huge benefit. Immediately you can see the, the, what it's done for our community. So I'm really excited about the idea of fiber to the home coming to rural Virginia and coming to us and to our medical facility. I, I'm convinced that the enhancement in speed will really be a game changer for us. It will really be a paradigm shift in how we can, in a timely way, have what we need to be able to provide the smartest care that we can to reduce errors by not having the information that's necessary as part of those decision-making processes that we do every day. So today we're announcing our new internet company, Rural Band, and you're going to hear a lot about us in the coming future. Uh, Rural Band is your fourth utility. It is broadband. It stands for revolutionary, reliable, responsible, and most of all, rural. Ask us about R to the fourth. <laughs> um, 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 we have to script this. We should have scripted See, this. I... Rural band, connecting. All right, try it again. You're good. We will bring gigabit speed fiber optic connection. You gotta do that again, you okay. gigabit speed. Okay. <laughs> Great. Uh, I'm Lane Chambers, an employee here at Prince George Electric Cooperative. Uh, yeah, I'm sorry. Ask, Ask us about. About.